This is my homemade solar wax melter. Um, we all have frames that we need to get wax out of, and I really didn't want to put the money into uh, buying one, building one, anything like that. So this is what I've done. Let me take these out. Okay. As you can see, I have debris already melted onto the surface of my filter. And the filter is made from a queen separator and uh, one piece of uh, cut to form, you know, uh, screen door or uh, screen door mesh. Figured that was fine enough and durable enough that it wouldn't, uh, it would filter out all the crap and uh, I could dispose of it later. But I just uh, tacked it down to the surface with four thumbtacks. And I took my queen separator to the store. This is the only thing that I had to buy. Um, and found a storage container that the, the queen separator would fit down into and wedge. And I have filled the bottom with water. Oh yeah, we got wax moth larva. Wonderful. Anyway, filled the bottom with water and that's where the wax drops and melts. And uh, then I can scoop that out later once it's a little more solid and uh, refine it further as needed. Anyway, uh, we all have queen separators that we don't know what to do with because we bought them when we were novices and we no longer use them. This is a perfect use for a queen separator. Um, I got to put the camera down or at least try to get this in. There we go. And just wedges in. I've got, and I, ha I, I was fortunate. I had a sheet of plexiglass already. You can use real glass if you want. And I just put it on top of the container. And then I put a couple of bricks on the corners to hold it down in case of wind. And hopefully by this afternoon, all that wax will have melted through the filter and dropped down into the bottom, and I can start all over again with some more frames that need melting. Well, this is it for my quick and easy down and dirty solar wax melter. Thanks for listening.